We've been talking about the fact that uh, there's risk outside the borders of the United States, and it's happening in Germany. Deutsche Bank has been on secretly on the watch list for the Federal Reserve for over a year for troubled institutions. And we have talked about Deutsche Bank being systemically important because they have huge, huge derivative uh portfolio, I think $50 trillion, a lot more than they have assets for it. And of course, they, they're a troubled bank. They have H&A out of, out of China, who borrowed billions and billions and billions of dollars uh, when the market was good. All of a sudden, the market starts turning against them. They can't make their payments. They own 10% of Deutsche Bank. They're selling Deutsche Bank, and they're selling Deutsche Bank assets. Can't be good for Deutsche Bank. And Deutsche Bank stock is heading for an all-time low. So here's a systemically important bank, and it's at risk, and it's been secretly, secretly now, uh, been on a watch list with the Federal Reserve. And they've been, we've talked about them a week or two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago, that they were closing offices. They closed offices here in the United States. They closed their investment uh, wing. They closed their trading uh, section. And then they turned around and closed 10% of the worldwide um, uh, staff and laid off over 10,000 people. That's not a good sign. And of course, that's happening in Germany. And, you know, we're going to have a systemic problem somewhere around the world. And, of course, we have these trade wars going on. Uh, you know, just today uh, we're talking about uh, uh, tariffs on aluminum and steel and maybe even Daimler-Benz. The, the great Mercedes-Benz might be having trouble with, with some kind of tariffs with the United States government. So you need to pay attention. It's time to really take stock. We have said to be time to be cautious. You need to really talk to your professional about being in bonds. If you're in bonds, you really need to, to find out because, you know, if these rates go up, it's really negative for the bond. And look how fast they went up. I mean, they went up so much faster than people thought that it was possible. So you need to take care of that. Talk to your professional about an exit strategy, about uh, some what ifs. And in, in my business, in the real estate business, we are looking at any marginal property that uh, that you own, anything that you don't like, it's time to really get rid of it. It's time to sell that. If it's a really good cash flowing property, great. We want to keep it in our portfolio. But anything that you don't like, anything that's coming up that needs to be sold, anything that you say, oh, you know, I've got some deferred maintenance I need to do on it, you really need to start thinking that maybe this is some time to sell because I think we're pretty, probably pretty close to the top uh, for this uh, for this part of our, our cycle. So, hey, listen, my very, very best to you, and God bless you. Bye-bye now.